Hi everyone, this is Jerome from RVE's Technical Support. Uh, today we're going to unbox uh, a DCC 1050A, uh, which will be a, a single family home model. And we're going to set the dip switches uh, to show you guys how it's done. This is your uh, your quick uh, start guide. Uh, it tells you basically to check the mounting position, make sure the connection of the conductors uh, are well done, and as well as programming the dip switch. So it's really important to program the dip switch. is one of the most uh, error the electrician does when they call technical support. It's because there's a there's a problem with the setting of the dip switches. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to program them so everybody can have a working unit out of the box. Let's take a look at what's inside the DCC. So we have the four screws that you need to remove. And then the lid comes right off. So while opening the unit, you can see you have several components in there. Uh, today, we're going to focus only on the dip switches that are right here. And you will, you will going to set them using the small screwdriver that is inside the box. Because those are really small. All right, so let's take a basic scenario where I have a, 60, uh, a 40 amp EV charger and a 100 amp panel. So the first dip switch that I would need to set is the CB, which stands for circuit breaker. This one is the main power supply, so your panel size. So in this case, it's a 100 amp panel. I'm going to take the, uh, the chart here that says uh, the actual setting that I will need to put for the CB itself. All right, so using the settings here that uh, is shown in the table, my 100 amp panel here should be uh, the first dip switch to on, two, three, and four to off. So let's go ahead and do this. First dip switch to on, two, three, and four to off. So we leave them as is. Now here you see that the factory settings are already set for you. So let's take a look at them. TP, one on, two, three, and four at off position. This means in the chart, that uh, the trip percentage will be set by default at 80%. So you have one at off, at, at on, two, three, and four at off. The third dip switch is the RT, which is the reintegration time. Uh, again, we have the default one at on, two, three, and four at off. And this one stands here in the chart for 15 minutes. Now you see that we don't give the other ones uh, so you will need to contact tech support to have those for specific settings. The last one is the EVC. If you're using a DCC 12, now this is a DCC uh, 10 with a 50 amp breaker. So this one is set for a 50 amp EV charger. So this setting will be one to on, two to off, three to on and four to off, according to the table here. So your 50 amp EV charger, one to on, two to off, three to on, four to off. If I had a DCC 12, I would need to set that dip switch myself. But since it's a DCC 10 and it comes with the breaker already installed, you don't need to set it. So now that we have all set the dip switches, once you plug the unit uh, on, it will function properly. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any other technical questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, all of our information is on the website. And if I was able to help you with the dip switches today, uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this one.